Hi, Mike Cannell here with Orcas Island Leather Goods, and today I'm going to walk you through assembling our Cascade Minimal Wallet Kit. First, let's look at what comes in the box. The Cascade Wallet comes with five pieces of leather, a spool of thread, two needles, sandpaper and wax canvas, and from home, you're gonna need scissors or a knife and a lighter. If you're new to leather crafting, you'll also want to watch the How to Saddle Stitch video where I show you how to thread your needles and teach how to saddle stitch. Now we're going to start with this stitch line right here, these four. And so what we'll need to do, start by cutting a piece of thread approximately 12 inches long and thread our needles. Now this stitch line is gonna be completely hidden within the wallet, so there's no pressure and it's a great place to start. Now we're going to line up these four holes with both of the face sides facing in the same direction. And we're gonna start our stitch line here, come over to here and back stitch. What we're creating here with these four holes is a stop so that the cards sit just, just right in your upper card slot. Now that we're at the end of the stitch line, let's make sure those stitches are nice and tight. And we'll back stitch. Take both to the back side. And now we'll trim these off. So you can see we have maybe an eighth of an inch or so of tail sticking out that we can then melt in to that stitch line. We don't want to burn the leather or the thread. We just want to melt it or heat it up enough so that that wax melts and we can flatten it out. Since this will be hidden and we don't want our cards to catch as they slide by, we can go ahead and really flatten the stitch line out. You just want to try to have as little bit of raised uh, thread there as possible. All right, we're going to set that aside. And now we're ready for stitching the main wallet. These pieces can get set aside, and we are going to work with these pieces here that have the O. As you can see, there are four little dots here, and those correspond to these four stitching holes here, so that when we put these back to back, as we add the second piece, all the stitching holes line up. But for right now, let's get our needles threaded and start this final stitch line of this wallet. We're gonna need about six feet of thread, and in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to measure out about five times the stitch line. So you can roughly put your thread around the length of your stitch line. And then it's one, two, three, four, and five. Now let's do that last stitch line. We're going to start with this hole right here in the corner and then stitch forward down this line until we get to the next corner where we will add the second piece of bridal leather. Let me get both of these on screen here for you. And you'll see these are both the face or good sides. And we're going to actually join these back to back, which creates the hidden middle pocket. Now, as we continue to stitch around, we're gonna come all the way down and then add in this last piece of leather for the pocket and then continue around back to our starting point and then back stitch two and a half stitches to finish our project. I'm going to line these up and place the first two pieces of leather in the stitching pony which helps to hold the leather still and hands free. While you can certainly use one it's not really needed for this project. Now to begin our stitching we're going to pass one needle through the first hole in the corner and then even out our threads so we have the same amount of thread on each side. For saddle stitching, we are going to always pass the needle on the face side first. This is the side that's facing the camera here and then hold the thread back and away so we can easily pass the second needle through the same hole. Be sure not to pierce the thread with that second needle. Then pull both threads snug and repeat. Face needle first, pull back the threads, and then the second needle.
With this next stitch, we're going to be including the first card pocket, and we want to make sure that these threads are nice and snug to prevent that edge from ever lifting up. Just be careful you don't pull so tight that you end up stretching your leather. Now we're going to continue saddle stitching all the way down to the next corner hole where we'll add in the second piece. Do a regular stitch through that corner hole and pull both threads nice and snug. And then we'll add in the second piece of bridle by using the backside thread and threading it through the hole in that top corner. Then we'll go in, make sure those are back to back with the face sides both facing out. And we simply take that backside needle and f go through the backside of that second piece of bridle. And now we've added this to our wallet. Be sure to line up all the holes through all the layers of leather. And you'll notice as I put this back in the stitching pony that I have flipped the piece. So what was my face side is now away from the camera. So the first needle through each stitching hole will be from the back side. More layers of leather makes it easier to pierce the thread with your second needle. So be sure to always pull that first needle thread back and away to give room for the second needle. Pull those threads nice and snug. First needle through. Pull that thread back. Second needle through. and pull snug. At this stitch, we are adding the top card pocket to the stitching line. Again, be sure to keep those stitches nice and snug to prevent lifting. A couple more stitches, and we'll add in the last piece of leather. Unlike the last piece we added, where we did the stitch and then added it afterwards, this one needs to be added before we begin our stitch. So I'll take this out, add this card pocket, lining up all the holes, and then we'll continue stitching through all four layers of leather. Pull that thread back, pass that second needle through, snug tight. Keep those stitches nice and straight and continue stitching until we reach the starting hole in the corner. Anytime you add or lose layers of leather in a stitch line, pay extra attention to keep the stitches tight. Here we are dropping down from the top card pocket and want to ensure this edge does not lift up while in use. Now we're back at the starting point and we're going to back stitch two and a half stitches so both threads end up on the same side. Since we are using the same stitching holes to back stitch, it can be a little more difficult to pull the needles through. And if you need to, you can certainly use a pair of pliers if you need just a little bit more leverage. There's one back stitch. And the second one. And now this face side needle will do a half stitch and come back so they both end up on the back side. Clip the threads to about an eighth of an inch long, and then we're going to melt the ends. 
Here I'm just using a pair of sewing scissors. So we have two little tails that we're just going to uh, melt using a lighter. And we want to make sure we don't burn the thread or the leather. Just want enough heat to melt that and melt that wax into the stitch line to lock those in place. And there it is. We have a finished wallet with three card pockets as well as the kind of hidden middle pocket. Now all that's left to do is to sand and burnish your edges if you prefer. These edges will burnish naturally over time with use we can help clean them up a little bit here first. There are many methods to burnish edges and I'm going to show you one fast and easy way. We're going to take our coarser sandpaper and we're going to just use it to even out the layers of leather. You don't want to scratch the leather faces, just even out the edges and corners. Then we're going to take our finer sandpaper and really give a nice smooth texture to the leather. When you're happy with your results, a little dab of water just to wet those edges. And then we're going to burnish with the wax canvas. to give a nice, shiny, smooth edge. Now you can spend as much time on your edges as you'd like to, to get the edge that you prefer. If you have any questions, we are here to help, so don't hesitate to reach out. Our Facebook support page is a great place to find community and quick answers. Thank you so much for watching. From our family to yours, happy making.